Hi, I'm Martin and you're watching Living Well TV. Today we're going to discuss which is better, the dumbbell incline press, a favourite of many, or the reverse dumbbell press. Keep watching to find out. Okay, so which is better? The incline dumbbell press or the reverse grip dumbbell press? So first of all, let's just talk through them. I'll go through the first one. It's first thing you're going to go through the dumbbell incline chest press. Now, as you can see, what a lot of people do, they, they actually incline the bench way too high. They come up too high for the incline press. There's no need for it. And when it comes up too high, it works the anterior deltoids too much. Okay, so you need to keep the bench just up on its first or second notch about 20 to 30 degrees, no further than that. Okay, so you grab your weights here, and if you're using heavy dumbbells, what you can do here, back nice and straight, you use your knees, if you're using really heavy weights, just use your knees to flip them up. So you just do this and this, and then put them to here like that, and turn them out. Okay, and make sure your shoulders are pushed into the bench, your shoulder blades, and you've got an arch in your back, and nice and straight, and you're pushing above the chest here. Elbows to the side to the side, not too flared out, otherwise you're going to stress the shoulders too much. Just a little bit in, coming in. Okay, and that's the incline dumbbell press. Now, there's also the reverse grip dumbbell press. And basically what it is, same thing, you flip your dumbbells up, come to here, but, all, but you get your palms so they're facing towards your face. And they're starting at the bottom of the chest. And you notice that the elbows are, are more in. Okay? So what you're doing, you're pushing up to the centre of your chest, and back down. Again, keeping the arch in the back, keeping your shoulder blades pushed into that bench, Nice arch in that back and keep that arch. When you come down, don't let get your arch back, your lower back flatten out. Keep your arch in the back there. Now you will find that when you're doing this, you may not be able to lift as heavy. Uh, the reason being is because um, it's the way the arms are positioned. Okay? Coming into the centre and back down. And that's the reverse grip dumbbell branch press. Now, which is better? Uh, a lot of studies have found. So first of all, let's talk about the anatomy of the chest. So the part you're trying to work is the clavicular part of the pectoral muscle. So sort of this here, so sort it of runs down here like that, and inserts here, okay? It's running down from the attached to the clavicle and down here, this upper part of the chest here. Okay, can you see that? This there? Okay, this part here. Now, when you do an incline dumbbell press, a standard incline dumbbell press, you're only activating 5% more of the upper chest than if you are doing a flat bench. However, if you were doing the reverse grip, you actually activate 30% more muscle than doing a, uh, of the upper chest uh, than doing a flat bench press. So that's six times more bang for your buck. Um, so obviously, the better one for the upper chest is the reverse grip clear winner. Um, a lot of people don't use it, it is becoming more popular as, as people are finding out about this study that they've done to show that it activates much more upper chest or clavicular pectoral muscle uh, muscle fibre. Um, so that's the winner, the reverse grip dumbbell the chest press. Okay, thanks for watching today. Uh, look out for more videos on our YouTube channel. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Uh, much appreciated and I'll see you soon.